we can reuse this tape as the hole down or you can use some new tape it's pretty much just masking tape so we're going to take ours off and reposition this and install it to the main motherboard here by pushing in It'll take a little bit of finesse to get that going there it is and we'll reroute it just as it was and using our tape we'll reposition that Keep in mind, once it's on there, I mean, it's not really going to go anywhere. Put ours between these two pillars right here that hold screws. This, as you'll remember, was simply positioned like this and secured right here to this post. So we've gotten that put back down, and this tape was holding it about right there. And we've routed it there and position it there and there you can see the things that hold it down right there so now that's back in the correct position the white wire also was routed through here just below the power if you'll remember that we had it coming up just about right there and it connects to this end so position, center it, position it, and you should be able to apply a little bit of pressure, and we can get it back on there, like that, and tuck it. Then we tucked our power back down like that, white wires out of the way, nice and secured, and we have that. So once you've gotten all your wiring back in place, as well as you've mounted the monitor, we can prepare to reinstall the top cover and uh, we'll go to the next step after that. Okay, it's time to reinstall the top cover. Um, this is going to be probably a little bit tricky here. We need to get this ribbon cable for the keyboard back in here, as well as the touchpad cable back here. And then we also need to get our power button plugged back in here, and our speakers plugged in here. Um, remember that these cables have little lock mechanisms, so on the board you need to push up on the white which will unlock it and when you get it in place you can pull down which will lock it um, and for the uh, for the touchpad it flips up to unlock and down to lock so this is going to be kind of on your own here you're going to have to try to work this in and get these in place and once we get that taken care of we'll go to the next step okay at this point before we really pop this down and snap it on uh, as you probably experienced it's it's kind of annoying trying to get those cables connected so before we go any further we want to test to make sure they are so go ahead and reinstall the battery like we've done there and this will also serve as your LCD test we're going to plug our power in as this battery is fully dead it's like one good sign we see our, our power light down here uh, and we want to tilt the screen back and turn on the machine to test our touchpad and everything. That's great. Our Toshiba screen is working beautifully. Uh, I'm going to allow this to boot up into Windows. Keyboard is working. It allowed me to press that. We're going to boot into Windows real quick and we're going to perform our test with the keyboard and mouse. Do that. Perform your test. Make sure the mouse, the LCD, and the keyboard work correctly. If they do, power the machine back off and I'll catch up with you on reassembly. Alright guys, we're on the home stretch. Our test was perfect, our mouse worked, our keyboard worked, and our LCD looked beautiful. So now we're going to finish popping this back on, and I literally mean that by popping. Start to evenly press all the way around. You'll start hearing it pop, and we'll keep on working on this here. And we pretty much have it back on at this point. Uh, looks like it's all the way back on. Yeah, nice and even. So, except for this, which we will get momentarily. Uh, so just do what we just did, double check everything. And there's that last piece there. We've popped that back on. That'll come back down once we insert our uh, screws that we need. So, we've gotten that. Now, we want to install all the F6 screws. There's 14 outer perimeter. There's two here under the memory screen. Then we'll reinstall the memory screen. Uh, we want to, before we put our CD-ROM back in, put in the F2s that are here and here, as well as we can remove our battery again 
to show you the F2s that were underneath the battery, as you'll remember, which are there and there on the brass locations. Uh, once you get all that back together, we'll do one final test and then we'll be done. Alright guys, we've got everything put back together. We've made sure all of our edges are nice and smooth and tight again. And there is absolutely no uh, indication that we've ever taken this machine apart. We're going to turn it on, do one final check. There's our beautiful screen working perfectly again. And we're going to let it power up and type a couple keys, test out the monitor, and we will see what we have here in just a second. So I'm going to tilt it back up just a little bit. I know i got some sunlight coming in, and I can't help anything about that. And I'm surely not complaining because it's a beautiful day outside today on New Year's here in Texas, um, January 1st. So let's see uh, what we have once we boot everything up. I also wanted to mention, uh, be sure to check out mobiletechvideos.com. Uh, for, for future developments. Uh, we're working hard to make this a site that uh, users can come to depend on and people can uh, come to for, for useful information like this. Uh, as we can see, the touchpad is working great. Here is our mouse right there, moving perfectly. The screen looks beautiful. Obviously it looks funny to you guys because you're getting a hell of a reflection, but uh, uh, if we typed in some keys here, we've got some input. Uh, so basically everything is on the up and up and we have a brand new LCD freshly replaced. There's no need to throw this machine away as many people feel like when they break a screen that it's just trashed. Uh, our LCD costed about $89.85 from eBay. Uh, it's a company on there called LCD Tech. They did a great job. They got the LCD to us quick and I highly recommend them. Uh, for future developments, as mentioned, visit mobiletechvideos.com. Check out some other videos on our site. We're working hard to get videos up uh, daily. And uh, right now we're, we're hung on Android and Samsung Captivate. Uh, but we will be getting new devices as they become available. And uh, I always want to say thank you to you guys. And as always, good luck.